Hello, this is Studmuffin1986, and welcome back to the channel. If you go into the game right now, you'll see that the Rudy is now available in the store for purchase. Um, in my personal opinion, <laughs> I, I don't really care for the tank. Um, I'm not interested in purchasing it. I do a lot of my purchasing decisions based on performance of similar tier and type of tank. Um, and this thing, like, it didn't really stand out to me that much. My brother has this tank. He really loves it. I know there's a lot of people that rave about this tank, and I don't really quite get it. And a lot of it's just based on before making any purchasing decision on a tank, I go in and I take a look at you know, Blitz Stars, I compare this tank stat wise um, to others. If performance is key to you, I recommend using blitzstars.com. It's a very helpful site. You can easily come in and compare tanks anyway. But, um, you know, comparatively, I, I compared it to the T23 3 in the comment. Uh, both tier sevens, both medium tanks. Um, you know, like DPM wise, wasn't as good. Um, the rate of fire wasn't as good, obviously. The the alpha is a little higher on the Rudy, so that does explain the lower um, the lower rate rate of fire. So I mean, that makes sense when you go in and look at you know the the cannon itself. It doesn't have as good of gun depression. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything that's going to be as good as the comment at negative 12. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got negative 8 degrees of gun depression, which is okay. But yeah, I mean, not nearly as good as the comment um, at negative 12 or the T23. And then maneuverability and speed, you know, that's not, it's not bad at all. But, I mean, with the comment, you have a better engine power to weight ratio. Uh, and, you know, it's got, a, it's got a little bit more get up and go speed and the other factors. I mean, they're similar. Um, the T23 isn't as good engine power to weight ratio wise as the Rudy. So you will have more get up and go speed there. And then going in and looking, at the, the Rudy has you know, worse view range compared to the T23 or Comet. So, <laughs> in my personal opinion, I mean, compared to a tank that's already in the game and free to get, I mean, a lot of people may already even have this tank, but if you don't have it, just grind, you know, like, use your credits, your free XP, whatever it is, and just get the comment because in my personal opinion, the comment's oh, like a much better tank in so many aspects, DPM, view range, um, uh, you know, it's like, and also I forgot to mention, I, yeah, I mean, turret armor is also a lot better on the comment too. So you can, I know the comment is <laughs> a little bit of a, maybe an OP tank compared to a lot of tier sevens, but this is what I do in my purchasing decision. Um, and so you may have other reasons for purchasing the tank. If it's a matter of, uh, oh, stud muffin, um, you know, it's, it's a classic or it looks cool or it was in a movie, which I don't know <laughs> if anyone's really seen. I'm 30 and I, I mean, I think the movie's even before my time. I, so I don't know. Just my two cents. I'm just kind of showing, giving an honest opinion based on um, how I would purchase the tank. Um, I compare it to just other similar tiers just to see like, hey, is this thing like really OP in areas or is it just perform better? It doesn't necessarily need to be OP. If this tank like really looks fun to you and you think you'll have a great experience with it, great, you know, go ahead, purchase the thing because I also make decisions based on that as well. Um, so anyway, um, Stud Muffin 1986 here. I don't have a video replay just because, like I said, I don't have the tank. I'm not personally interested in purchasing the tank. Um, uh, for me personally, I would just go in <laughs> and just get the comment and just play with that because uh, performance uh, for me is uh, much more important. So anyway, like I said, Stud Muffin 1986, you guys keep tanking and stay cool.